God's brothers don't understand how to receive the quality of love that they bring to the table. They just feel that they have to have this kind of uh, this, this, this kind of stuff that is not it's not elevating and it's not classy. And when a sister has the real deal and she wants to share it, they can't receive it. Am I, am I talking to somebody tonight? Are, are you feeling this, sisters? Sometimes you just want a man who understand how to appreciate the real stuff. Not, 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 not the bad stuff, the perverted stuff, the stuff that makes you embarrassed and guilty and ashamed. But the stuff that really makes him turn his head and say, wait a minute, this is different. This is real different. And I want to say to you, sisters, don't stop loving the genuine, pure, honest, and sincere kind because there's a brother out there who's going to recognize it. It might take time. People these days are shallow and superficial. And a lot of sisters don't care about the real stuff. They can't even appreciate it. But don't you lower your standards. Amen? Don't you lower your standard. I remember being on the train going to Manhattan and it's a packed train. New York City is so packed up and people, uh, it's not like the old days when you had room and so on. But there's something inside of you that tells you you still must be manly and gentlemanly. And so the gentleman I am, I got up from my seat and I tried to give that seat to a young lady on the train. She looked on me like I had seven heads and ten horns. That's the kind of society we're in. Women, some women, don't appreciate male civility. They find it repugnant. They think that it is like you are from some planet somewhere, but I'm talking to a class and group of ladies in this place. If I, if if I, if you feel me say amen, who understand what love is, who want the world to know that you've got the right kind and you know just how to share it and how it needs to be recognized. 